Hello viewers. Welcome to the series of experiments in physics presented by Mobile Science Lab. Today I am going to perform an experiment connected with inertia. Inertia is the inability of the body to change its state. That state could be the state of rest or of its motion. One of the examples of inertia of the body at rest is when you are playing a carrom board, when you stack the coins one on top of the other, by using striker, if you hit the coins, only the bottommost coin will be moving, rest of the coins will be in their own position as if it has got nothing to do with the motion of the bottommost coin. This proves the inertia of the body at rest. There are two types of inertias. One is the inertia of the body which is at rest, the inertia of the body which is in motion. I am going to perform an experiment connected with inertia. Aim of the experiment is to prove the inertia of the body at rest. Apparatus required are This is the plastic pillar mounted on a perspex base and it has got a small platform at a depth of one and a half centimeters from the top and this is the metal plate. I am going to use this to set the body in motion. This is the foam board which I am going to make use of this in the experiment. And this is the plastic coin, which I am going to make use of this to complete my experiment. As I told you, every body does not change its state by itself. One has to apply some external force to set the body in motion. We have two things. One is the foam board, which I am going to keep it on top of the plastic pillar and on the foam board, I am going to place the plastic coin. After placing the foam board and plastic coin on top of the pillar, I am using this metal strip to set the foam board into motion. Let us see what happens when I set the foam board into motion. We can see this. You see now, though the plastic coin and foam board are on top of the pillar. The assumption is when you apply some force to the foam board, we would expect that the plastic coin also will be moving along with that. But instead, what has happened is only foam board has moved and the plastic coin is sitting in the same position in which it was sitting earlier, as if it has got nothing to do with the movement of the foam board. That means, because we have applied force to only foam board, only foam board has moved and plastic coin did not move, simply for the reason that external force is not applied to the plastic coin to set it in motion. This proves the inertia of the body at rest. I hope everybody has understood. Thank you very much.